Well, here at Zytec, we get involved in automotive control systems, which have led us into electric drivetrain technology. But that's caused us to be involved in the actual conversion of vehicles to take that uh, technology forward. On the Smart, for instance, it was necessary for us to do the battery system, the high voltage uh, system, as well as the electric drive, in order to move the project forward and to engage with people like Mercedes-Benz UK to be able to get 100 vehicles out into the field to get uh, the knowledge and understanding of how, how these vehicles are to be used. And then that feeds back into the design of the engines and the solutions going forward for electric powertrains. Today we had a visit from the Minister for the West Midlands, Ian Austin, and uh, the purpose of the visit was to come and look at uh, a project that uh, we've just finished a prototype level, which was to create a prototype electric taxi. The thing for me is how we get to a position where the West Midlands can lead in low carbon and electric vehicles, just as we've led in traditional automotives in the past. And I think what you're doing with these engines is uh, you know, showing that uh, you know, that's possible, that's not just a pipe dream, it can actually happen. The vehicle that the Minister has been driven in today is a pure electric conversion of the Mercedes Vito taxi. This has involved removing the engine uh, and all the drivetrain associated with the rear wheel drive vehicle and has now been converted to a front wheel drive vehicle allowing maximum room underfloor for the high voltage batteries. It is a fully homologated vehicle with a rear wheel steering i.e. it's fully compliant with the public carriage office requirements. But I want to, you know, I want to see the West Midlands at the centre of, you know, the low carbon vehicle revolution. That's what we're going to see in this country. You know, I think this development is a really exciting part of that. There's no reason why we can't. Why can't we be? Why can't we set ourselves the, the you know, the ambition in our region to lead the way in Britain in uh, in electric vehicles and low carbon automotives? That's what I want to see happen. And I think through what we're doing with the Vantage West Midlands, the support it's giving to. You know, projects like this and companies like yours. You know, I think uh, you know, I think that's you know, that's a possibility for us. Yes, I think we're um, part of the niche vehicle network because it allows us to bring the skills together in the West Midlands that are needed to create a vehicle system or a vehicle solution. So different companies from around the area have different skills, whether it would be mechanical engineering or lightweight material research, electronics, motors like ourselves, and inverters. And things. this way, we can put together a prototype vehicle. This way, we can help each other learn in a manner that would be important possible. We, we wouldn't have been able to put this Evito taxi together on our own. It needs partners, it needs the consortium and from that all members of the consortium can benefit as well. Our valence technology are the, the batteries in the, in the taxi, um, pretty much um, the, the power plant. Vosus Limited uh, designed and made the transmission for this uh, taxi, so uh, essentially this is the part that links the motor to the wheels. Penzo is responsible for the structural integration of the electric drivetrain into the Mercedes vehicle. Electric vehicles tend to be very quiet uh, and integrating a very, very quiet drivetrain into an ordinary, very loud car uh, takes quite a lot of uh, compatibility. When you see hybrid cars, I mean presumably just having an electric engine means you've only got one engine, you've got a, a leaner, more efficient manufacturing process. Yeah, yeah. it's more cost effective, hybrids are expensive. Yeah. The next stage really is to understand what, uh, what that vehicle could do, who, who it could do it for as well. You know, potentially it's a good, it's a strong vehicle, and it's very capable. We've got to find the right customer for that vehicle because that supports the business case for niche vehicle manufacture here in the, in the West Midlands. So we really need to understand its capabilities, its drawbacks, its strengths, uh, so that uh, a business case can be put together and say, this vehicle is a good solution for this type of transport. Zytec are focusing on a whole range of electric vehicle weight classes from the very small, uh, i.e. 700 kilos, up to um, at least five and a half tonnes. And if we're going to build a stronger economy in the West Midlands and the rest of the UK, we've got to make sure we're at the forefront of the, uh, the low carbon revolution. Mm. You know, these are developments, these are opportunities for our region, and we've got to make sure we capitalise on them. You know, that's what I want to see happen. Today is the culmination of an awful lot of hard work, a great number of people, a great number of new technologies, uh, and a great success. It's quite important to get the, the profile, obviously EVs is uh, a growing uh, area of the automotive um, sector just now and, uh, and anything that can improve the general profile of it in the, in the eyes of the public must be a good thing. Today has been a very good day for Vyond, um and 
there's going to be lots more to come. Um, I think this is really just the tip of the iceberg. I think the minister was very impressed and surprised as well a little bit, I think, about the, uh, about the technology, the performance of the technology, how quiet it is, how well it drives, uh, and that's just in a prototype vehicle. So uh, we'd expect it to be further refined in a, in, a, in a production vehicle. So I think he was quite surprised and I think he was quite pleased as well that it came out of the result of a consortium of local companies um, trying to push forward the technology for, for mutual benefit. Well, thanks ever so much, Dave. Okay. That's, yeah, that's great. Pleasure. Thank you. Well, thank you <laughs> for helping. Thank you. Not mm -hmm. at all.